pandemic. So I've got one last question, and this actually comes from my sister, who apparently is watching. She is a licensed marriage and family therapist in Washington, uh, D.C. area. If anybody over there needs some help because you've been cloistered with your spouse, uh, I'm doing an unpaid sponsorship break for that. Uh, but she just wants to know if your family feels very proud. Okay, now you're going to get me emotional, which is... Please. That's the best. That's what she does. That's her job. I lost my father five years ago. Um, he died suddenly one night. Um, so I'll tell, I'll tell a story about this. Um, it was around when Mad Dogs, my show on Amazon, was premiering. So I was kind of checking Twitter more often than usual um, just because I wanted to see. Because as you said, who knows who's watching things on Amazon and Netflix and Hulu. Um, and by the way, I love Mad Dogs as a show, and it is on Amazon, and you should check it out. Um, it's 10 episodes, and I really love it. So anyways, I was checking Twitter, and someone from my hometown um, who I didn't know tweeted, um, hey, I just saw your father, and he was acting all strange. You should check on him. And I thought, well, that's weird. Um, and I called my cousin in Rockford and said, Hey, I got this weird tweet, you know, and I caught, and I followed the person and DM'd her. I was like, what are you talking about? And she said, Oh, I met this bar and he was here, but when he walked out, he was sort of talking a little bit strangely and, um, you just might want to check on him. So I had my cousin who lives near him go and drive over to his house. And in fact, he was, um, having a brain embolism and he had driven home and he had collapsed in the front yard of his house and it was January, 20 degrees. And my cousin found him and he was still um, conscious and they called the paramedic. Now he ultimately ended up dying that evening um, because there was just too much damage. He had had a heart attack a year before and he was on blood thinners. And when you have a brain embolism and, and you have blood thinners, it, it, it damages the brain sort of quicker um, but I always look back and, 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 but he passed away with his sister and his nieces with him in Rockford in Illinois. Um, and I think, and I always thought if I hadn't been in television and I hadn't created these shows that people watched, a fan who followed me because of that wouldn't have told me that, Hey, your father, um, was acting a little strange. You should check on him. And he would have essentially died in his front yard. Um, of exposure and instead I got a heads up and I was able to call my cousin and he was transported to a hospital and was surrounded by loved ones when he passed away. Um, and the thing, he was so proud of me um, and my brother, um, but the shows, he always used to come to set um, of the show I was working on at that moment to, uh, you know, he always loved talking to the actors and loved talking to the director. And he really loved being the father of Sean Ryan, who had created these shows. Um, and I think, you know, the only movie I've ever cried at in person in a movie theater was Field of Dreams, which, um, you know, is a father-son story, right? Every son wants to get the approval of their father, you know, wants to feel like, they were raised in a way that made their father proud. And, um, you know, and the good thing for me was that my father um, was proud and I knew that before he passed away and it's something that I always cherish. So, um, you know, coming from a place like Rockford, my mother who's still alive, thankfully, you know, my cousins, um, you know, they, uh, I've done them proud and, uh, you know, it's, it's really gratifying. So screw you for getting me emotional and um, I'm going to drink more wine now. <laughs> well, uh, in the spirit of family, uh, I will say that I will, I will totally pass all the blame for getting you emotional onto my little sister uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> because that's what I have done for most of my life. <laughs> um, and, uh, and she messages that, uh, that now she and my folks are emotional too. Thanks for checking out Pandemic, brought to you by Roadmap Writers and Notes for Execs. 
I'm Joel Silberman, and if you're interested in more intimate interviews with writers on writing, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and share. Thanks very much. Stay safe.